Okay, I'm going to attempt to make a video on how to make fiberglass resin for a, just working with the transium. I'm not using any fiberglass, I'm just using the resin. And I've never done this before, and uh, I thought the instructions were pretty confusing. I couldn't find a video on it, so I thought I'd make one. So, I'm going to kind of set things up for you. Um, I got this uh, one quart cup, and it's nice. Basically, you're going to end up most likely using four ounces. And it's just right there. Um, and then for every ounce, you're supposed to put 10 drops of hardener in there. Um, so if I'm going to use uh, uh, 4 ounces, that'd be uh, 40 drops of hardener in there. Now, I found out also it's not 100%, you don't have to be right on. Like if you wanted more work time, you could put a little bit less drops in there. And it'll just, uh, the hardener's how quick it hardens. Um, so if I put more, in like if I put 50 drops in there, it will harden quicker. And uh, actually, this stuff's also really messy. Like here's some that's just been sitting around on the top of the can, and it's still wet because it doesn't have hardener in it. So I guess that's my point there. Um, I was worried about what stuff I was going to get to reuse. This is the container I used. Um, after it dried the next day, I just kind of like squeezed it, and the, the film of it will just pop off. And whatever you leave in there will turn into like a hard resin thing. Um, you'll need a stirring stick. I uh, use a, a brush. You want to have safety glasses. And trust me, you want to use it. Stuff stinks real bad. And uh, if you got it in your eye, it'd be really painful. And, uh, um, and where you could get it in your eye if you're swishing it around with the swivel stick. And I'm just using a little paint stick. If it's sloshed out, it might hit you in the eye. So to wear your safety glasses. And some gloves keep it off your skin. I'm going to show you another couple of setup things. Okay, this is what I'm working on, and uh, this is for a transom on a on a boat. And I did this side already. It came out. I do have a little couple weird spots, and I think that's because uh, the way I mixed the hardener in, I kind of just dumped it in. You know, I kept dropping the drops in. I think what I should do, and what I'm going to try to do next, is put put in. Uh, Really what you should do is put in like an ounce, stir in the 10 drops, put in another ounce, I think, I don't know. Um, but what I'm going to do is put the 4 ounces in, put 10 ounces, stir it, and then keep adding 10 ounces, or when I say 10 ounces, I mean 10 drops. And uh, in other words, don't put the full 40 drops in at one time. Uh, keep stirring it as you're doing it. And I think that'll get rid of the little bumps that kind of gelled up. So main thing I wanted to show on this is aluminum foil is your friend because fiberglass doesn't stick to aluminum foil. So just go down to Dollar Tree get yourself some thickest sheets of aluminum foil you can find. And uh, originally I had the cloth here but I was like oh it's going to stick to that so I put the aluminum foil that way I don't have to worry about you know I can just take this off. So that's the prep work I was talking about. Okay hopefully it shows up because uh, this is really messy and I don't want to get fiberglass resin on my camera. So um, I forgot to show you on the hardener. You just get yourself like a um, tack, whatever you call these things, and that you push a hole in there. And when you do your drops, just let the gravity feed the drops in there. And again, it's not the end of the world. Sorry, the wind's blowing and making a little background noise. It's not the end of the world if you got like an extra drop or you're short a drop or something like that. Um, so it's not a, an exact science thing. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, put a four ounces of resin in here. And then I'm going to, and hopefully I don't have anything on this stick, I'm going to kind of start stirring it now even though I don't have the hardener in there. Maybe that's why I got lumps in it before. And so hopefully I won't lose count. So I'm just going to put 10 drops in and then stir. One. 
That's 10 drops there. more in. See there, I put 11 drops in by accident. So I, 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 you got about eight minutes to work with this stuff, and when I get done, I'm just using a cheap chip brush, and all I'm going to do is brush it on. So I'm not going to show that. The hard part is I didn't know what to do with this mixing stuff. I just want to mix it really good. This is, should be my last if I count it right. So hopefully that was 40. And again, if it wasn't, like if I only did 30, it's just going to take forever to dry or harden. And so now I'm just going to take it over and brush it on. And when I get done, you know, I'll just let it harden and then peel out the what's left over there. Okay, I got it done. Um, you have little problems, like I got a little piece of the chip brush or hair in there, which I don't care about. Um, still got those little bumps though. I don't know what that's about. So you get, I call them boogers. They just look like little bumps. There, I got some hair in there. I'm gonna paint over this anyways because uh, my understanding is fiberglass is uh, is not UV resistant, and the sun will break it down. So you want to paint over it when it's done. So what I think I'll try to do is let it harden up and then I'll probably sand off all those little bumps and stuff. But now on the edges I got some because that's drips from when I did the other side. But that's about it. Oh, and you want to do it over like grass or something because that stuff, you wouldn't want this on your patio. So think about that because it's going to drip. It's a messy job. You don't want it to get on your clothes and uh, or on, your, on the floor. So And it smells bad. But other than that, it's not too hard, and again, for me, the hardest part was I couldn't find a video on how to mix it up. Again, it's uh, pretty much uh, uh, 10 drops for every ounce, and that's with the, um, the Bondo cheapo stuff you buy like at Walmart and stuff. Anyways, I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, maybe if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below, and I'll, I'll try to answer them. And again, I'm not any kind of professional. If you see something I should have done or you know how to make it so it doesn't get lumpy like that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Now, a quick note, uh, so this is just all my supplies and in about 15 minutes it'll start getting hardened and then we can just pull it out.